Some of us drive to work every day, and once we get there, we cannot remember a thing we saw along the way. Well, one viewer kept seeing something along the way enough so that he reached out to NBC4's Brad Johansson to see if he could find out more. A viewer reached out to me a few months ago. He wanted to know more about a guy that he sees holding up these positive signs on his daily drive to work. Been doing it for years. It took me a while to track this guy down, but once I did, I knew I needed to tell you more about Mr. Julius Brown. For a while, a lot of people don't go to church, not that you have to go to church to know about this guy. He is here every weekday morning. The main thing is, like I said, just to be out here. Yes. Rain or shine, 6 a.m. to 7.30 at the corner of Broad and Hamilton. And hear a voice, I just got awakened. And for lack of a better term, it was impressed upon me to do those signs. I didn't even know how. Julius doesn't know how he made it this far. See, it's from the womb, I felt doomed. That's pretty deep. I felt doomed. From mm -hmm. any time you can remember growing up, you felt I doomed? didn't have, no one ever loved me. I never had nobody to love me. He was in foster care for as long as he can remember. My brother turned me out. He was a drug dealer and a pimp. I've been locked up several times. I got locked up the first time I was 16. That first time was for stealing cars, the last time in his 30s for armed robbery. A 30-year drug addiction, he said, using whatever he could get his hands on. Is it a miracle that you're sitting here with me now? A miracle, and I got to put a blessing as well. It's a big miracle, because I've OD'd. I've been, I mean, I've been, I've been to hell and back several times. Now 65, Julius has been clean for more than a decade and works as a janitor here on South 3rd from 9 to 5. But his real work, he says. You don't catch fish nowhere else but the lake. So you got to come out here. That's my point. Starts at 6 a.m. This is my call, and I can go ahead and say it. This is what I was asked to do. I told him, yeah, you didn't, I'm going to finish what I told you. When I was on that floor that day, he asked me that, and I told him I would. He's now made over 300 signs, messages he says just come to him. Some drivers tell him he makes their day. Thank you, man. Thank you. Some tell him he's saved their life. Are you changing lives by what you're doing? I think God is. I'm not doing nothing. I'm just, I'm just clay. The little boy who never knew love. That's my wife. That's my wife right there. That's my wife. Takes the weekends off to be with his wife of 13 years. How long will you do this? Till I drop. Till I drop. The young people think I can dance. They get to dance with me. They do. They do. Do you feel love now? I know I am. I know. I don't know if you can see my eyes light up there. I know I am. And that is a good sign. Now, it's not all positive feedback he gets. Julius tells me he also hears a lot of anger, a lot of cursing at him, but he's got thick skin, and he says, I got a job to do. If you have a story that needs to be told, email me at bjohansson at wcmh.com. Tell me more so I can share it with everyone.